Imagine growing up without the opportunities that you had as a child. No dance recitals, no running around the soccer fields on Saturday afternoons, no chess club, no swim team in the summertime. Would you still be the same person that you are today without those experiences? Experiences that really help to develop your character and your values, who you are as a person. In 2006, Dr. Brooke Riley began practicing physical therapy in Jamaica. She soon realized that the residents of Ridge, the community in which she lived, had very few life-building opportunities and decided to do something about it. She established 4U, Friends of Ridge United, with the goal of enriching the lives of the community members. Brooke and her team located a vacant building and began implementing programs with whatever resources they had available. Every year we host our summer reading camp. And this is especially important because we found through our studies that only seven children out of 93 were reading at the age appropriate level. So each summer we have a host of about 20 teachers from the community who come together along with other volunteers to run the camp. We usually have between 60 and 80 children who participate and it's really a lot of fun. The kids just wake up every morning just excited to go to reading camp. Our newest program is our women's baking program. And this has been really fun and exciting to see the confidence that the ladies are gaining by learning this new skill. In fact, the first day that we um, got together and the ladies learned how to bake homemade bread, at the end of the day, one of the ladies looked at us and said, I'm a baker now. Right now they're baking bread and cinnamon rolls to sell to the community and are hoping to expand that into schools and uh, the, the sky is the limit with, with what they're going to be able to do. How beautiful it is this morning to be fellowshipping one with another. And one so of the needs that we have identified in the community is a need for spiritual growth and encouragement. So every Wednesday morning we come together for prayer meeting where community members and volunteers can come together and pray for each other and sing and really just have a time of fellowship. Um, and it has really served to bring people closer in the community and just to foster a closer relationship with the Lord. After living in the community for a number of years and really getting to know these people and the needs that they have, it's been amazing to see God's plan unfold for them to see the needs being met through these programs, to see a child's face light up when he learns to read, um, and just to have close relationships with these people um, through the years has really just been a privilege. Now imagine having the opportunity to pay it forward, to partner with us, and to provide opportunities for children to grow and develop their character, to allow a child to learn to read, to allow women to learn to bake and to gain self-confidence in the skill that they've just learned to allow men to become computer literate, allowing them to become more successful and better providers for their families. Imagine all these opportunities happening in the same place, a community center where people can gather and learn their value as individuals, who can achieve their God-given talents and recognize that He is among us and in us and working through us. Partner with us and help the beautiful Jamaican people realize their full potential.